Hi, e d i s Kitchen 친구분들. Today, I will share a super simple yet delicious recipe using calabaza squash that you can cook for your Halloween party, lunch box, or as a daily meal. It is called 늙은 호박전 in Korean. You can use any kind of edible pumpkin or squash for this recipe. I got this calabaza squash at a Korean grocery store. It has a light beige color for its skin and a bright orange inside. Carefully peel off the skin with a knife. And then julienne the squash into about 2 inches thin strips. You will get about 2 cups. Sprinkle the sugar and salt on the squash and mix it gently. Set it aside for about 5 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make the batter with Korean pancake mix, buchim garu, and frying mix, tuikim garu. I like to use both of them for my chan, but you can use one or the other. Any Korean brand for these are good, so I recommend you try them. I also showed you how to make own frying mix at home in my deep fried veggies and shrimp video. So please check it out if you want to try that. Put the Korean pancake mix, frying mix, and the egg into a mixing bowl. Then add the cold water and mix everything together. The consistency will be like this. After 5 minutes, add the seasoned squash directly into the batter. Mix everything one more time and then it is ready to fry. Drizzle the cooking oil in a non-stick pan and put two big spoonfuls of the pancake batter into the pan. Spread out the batter thinly and fry it on medium for about a minute. Flip the pancake so that the other side will get some of the remaining oil on it. Now, Fry the other side for about 3 to 4 minutes or until it becomes nicely golden brown on medium. Press the jan lightly with the spatula and rotate it in a circle so that it gets crispier. 3 minutes later, flip it over and cook the other side in the same way for another 3 to 4 minutes. And then it is done. This Korean pancake itself is very delicious and it has enough flavor and salt so that you do not need dipping sauce. However, if you want to enjoy it even more, try this. I made a Korean addictive eggs video last week. If you try that recipe, you will have plenty of leftover sauce from it. So you can use that leftover sauce as a dipping sauce for this chun. You can also try my special dipping sauce recipe that I will add in the description box below this video. Both of the dipping sauces go really well with this chan. I'm very happy to share this delicious recipe with you today. Try my Nirikun Hobak Chan recipe and take a picture and share it with me through Instagram or Facebook. Enjoy your delicious Kalavaja squash pancake and see you next time. Bye!